the first session of this afternoon's um, presentations for you. Over to James. Hey everybody, and thanks thanks for choosing this session. I realise we're we're up against stiff competition in the other room. Um, I, I'll I'm, I'll turn off my video now just to keep all my bandwidth for for the audio. Um, so uh, I'm giving this uh, presentation on behalf of myself, James Brunson, and my colleague uh, Megan Gaffney. Um, we're both from Dublin City University. Um, we both work on this this program here, uh, the psychology major undergrad. Um, this is this is what we call one of some of one of our DCU connected uh, courses. So it's it's an online course. It's also an open education course. If you're over age 23, you can take up a place um, freely. No no entry barriers or anything like that. Um, so this uh, initiative, which was uh, well, I'll get to that. This initiative takes place within the context of an undergrad developmental and educational psychology uh, program, um, um, and it started. We did it for the first time last year in the 1819 academic year, and we're doing it again in in the 1920 academic year. Um, so what are what did we do, or what did we want to do? Um, I suppose being inspired by coming to conferences like OER20 and there was a, an especially good session in an OE Global conference that I was at specifically on sort of open pedagogical assignments and that really sparked my imagination around what was possible. Um, so I kind of wrote up a, a brief on you know what could we do how could we take existing assignments and get students to create artifacts that we might take back into uh, the program, or how could we get them to produce something that would do good in the community? Um, uh, so I wrote up these possibilities and I sent them out to the whole psychology team and I said, who would be interested in working on this? And Megan was the first person to come back to say, I see a way of, um, I see a way of making the, this assignment better. So she had an assignment where the the students were already kind of creating a hypothetical brief for second level school on how they could improve um, mental health or things like that. So what we did was we, we reorientated that assignment um, so that in their second assignment, which was about uh, developmental psychology, they, they focused on a men mental health a mental health topic, but just in, in the abstract, in an essay. And then in the third assignment, um, which was about educational psychology, they uh, worked on something more applied in the same area. So what we asked them to do was create, uh, do a bit of a write-up around promoting mental health at, in second level schools, and then on top of that, produce a, 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 digital, temp, a digital pamphlet or an infographic um, that, would, that you could release to the public um, that would inform them around promotion of mental health in second, second level schools. Um, and then we asked them, will you put a CCBY license on this and give us permission to actually share it? Uh, so the students, it went, you know, we went really well, we'll get to that bit. But this is, this is an example of the kind of thing that, that the students made. Um, so some of them, some of them look different from others. Some of them are a multi-page kind of pamphlet. Some of them are one page. This is more in a poster style. Other people did use things like Canva or similar things to make something that looked more like uh, an infographic. Um, so what we did then was, um, where, out of the students who gave us the permission to put a CCBY license on them and share them, we created a WordPress blog um, and shared, basically shared it publicly through that means. Um, So we wanted to, once after doing that, uh, we wanted to basically follow up on the, on the students and see how did this impact on them. Um, so we designed a research study to follow up on, on the practice, um, qualitative analysis, qualitative data collection. So we did an online focus group. Um, now with, with the vagaries of, of getting a number of 
part-time adult learners all coordinated in the same place at the same time. The conversation uh, last year did end up being uh, myself and Megan as two facilitators with just three students. So this is what this data is, is based on, but it is very interesting data. Um, the data analysis method we use was Brown and Clark's uh, six steps of, of thematic analysis when we, we analyzed it using, um, well, we started out on pen and paper and then moved it into Envivo for the, for the actual analysis. So to get onto the good stuff, uh, I hope people can see that or maybe you can make your screen bigger at home, I can't remember. Um, basically, uh, the students had some issues with the assignment, they had some struggles, um, thanks Sarah. Uh, they, they struggled with some aspects, um, but generally felt like it was a really good uh, a really good assignment to do. So uh, I suppose it being the first time that we ran the assignment, um, some of the details, like, uh, I mean, all of our assignment documents that we make for our off-campus students, for our online students, they're always very detailed because they need to be, you know, um, because people can't ask immediate clarifying questions so that, the, you know, so in a very detailed assignment brief, we were a little vague about exactly how the work was going to be shared if they wanted to share because at the time we were writing the document, we weren't exactly sure how we were going to do that. So eventually we landed on a WordPress blog and we communicated that to them. But I suppose as they were going through the assignment, they didn't have a crystal clear vision of how it was going to be shared and where exactly it was going to be shared. All we had said was, if you give us permission, we will share it publicly through, you know, an appropriate means. Um, so they didn't like that. That just that just unsettled them a little bit. And but it was also linked to some of the other things um, that they felt about the assignment. Um, they did struggle with the technical aspects of the work in terms of actually using, even you know, Microsoft or something like Canva to actually make something that they were happy with, that they felt looked good enough to be shared. Um, and that, that impacted a little bit on how long the work the work took and how happy they were, you know, how, how on top of things they felt. Um, they also struggled, now this is more interesting and starting to get into the meat of things. They also struggled with, with uh, being able to envision who they were producing the work for. Now, a little bit that went down to were, were, were the instructions a little bit too vague, but it was more about getting into this kind of philosophical idea of who is the public. Like we said, this will be available to the public, but they started thinking, who is the public? I don't understand what that means. Um, they were also worried about, and this is gets in, gets, get, getting into this more interesting area as well, they were worried about being qualified to advise people. Is what they know at this point in time good enough for people to consume? Um, so I'm, I'm going to still be talking about this slide here, but I want to um, I want to show some of these quotes as I'm talking as well. Oh, is, is that middle bit overlapping the heading as I see it? That's terrible. That's terrible. I'll just I'll, slightly. Uh, just slightly. Just slightly. Yeah, I'll, just I'll one tell, word I'll looks tell you what it is. Yeah. Um, so. Over, you know, in terms of their their feedback overall, they liked the assignment. Um, they found that it was either something that was completely new to them and they enjoyed the novel aspect of it, or depending on what other modules they had already taken, they thought it was similar to some of the other more innovative assignments that they had taken, but they liked that. They, they were comparing it to other assignments where they had to do presentations or do peer feedback or that kind of thing. And they, they said, it's nice to have these assignments that are different from regular report writing or essay writing um, uh, assignments. Um, they liked being able to see what other people did. Now, we, they, they couldn't see what each other, what, what the others were doing as they were doing it. Um, but, but the fact that things were shared after the assignment, you know, meant students could then see what the other students did and it helped them appreciate and reflect on what they did versus what other people did and oh that person must have been thinking differently about the assignment to come up with that compared to the way I was thinking in order to come up with what I came up with and um, they thought they, they felt that the assignment was more real you know the, compared to an assignment that that no one except the marker and them was ever going to see um, 
they they felt that this was a more authentic assignment um and the really interesting um yeah sorry that that bottom right quadrant just says the word you can't see is qualified so it's qualified to uh, to advise the the big thing was it made and like the all three of the students that we talked to in that in that mini kind of mini focus group or whatever the right term is for that um they all talked about it making them think more about certain things that they hadn't really thought much about before so thinking more about the process by which information is produced in society making them think more about their responsibility for the knowledge that they're producing thinking more about how the public gets access to information about what information do they see in society and where does it come from um I think that's everything I wanted to say. Maybe I'll just pop back. Is, my, is there anything else I'm missing on this one? I don't think so. I think that's everything. I think that's pretty. But that's a summation on all the uh, on all the all the different results. And um, so that's pretty much me. So the the big thing this year is we are hoping, um, and I've just sent out the recruitment notices to this year's. Um, students taking uh, developmental and educational psychology um, to try and get some more participants recruited and we're hoping to get you know more students like uh, the absolute ideal would be if we could get two focus groups out of this year's crop and um, last year i think we did our, our recruitment a little bit too late um, and then it was harder to get them uh, get them into focus groups so that's me i'm done I'm about I, I'm three minutes fast by my estimation, but that that's fine. Thank you so much, James. If we could all uh, find the clap emoji, which has seemed to um, take it over this year's OER20, to say thanks so much to James. And if.